Content Area Words Authors of informational texts often use content area words or words that are specific to a subject, such as math, science, or social studies. Content area words are often in boldface type. They may appear in graphic features such as labels, diagrams, or other visuals. Let's take a look at some examples on our anchor chart. Here we can see a diagram of a flower. It says the parts of a flower include petal, stem, stamen, and anther. These bold base words are content area words. On this diagram, these content area words are used as labels. By following the line drawn between the word and the image, we can better understand what each of these words means. Another example is looking at the fractions 3 eighths and 5 eighths. We have the bold words fractions and denominators. These are content area words. Some fractions have common denominators. This example is showing us an example of what fractions look like. And by looking at the words common denominators, we can see that the numbers eight are the same. They are common in this example. And so the numbers eight must be the denominators. The last example for boldface type is the drawing of the globe. The world has imaginary lines of latitude and longitude. The words latitude and longitude are two more examples of content area words that would be found within the context of social studies. In the bottom section of this anchor chart, we can see the words iris and pupil in two different contexts. The words iris and pupil are multiple meaning words. They have the more general meaning, such as a flower or a student, as seen on the left-hand side, as well as the meaning that is specific to a subject of science, where it's talking about parts of an eye. You can use context clues or the words and sentences around an unknown word to figure out the meaning of that word. You can also take advantage of any graphic features that may be present in a text in order to understand which meaning of the word is being used.